Hello fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here in Budapest in Hungary and today we're going to talk about our kind of 10 mistakes that we see tourists make when they do come here to Budapest because you know we're tourists, we do make mistakes so hopefully we can help you not make these mistakes when you do come to this fantastic city, okay? Now, the first mistake I see a lot of tourists make and I've been stuck with this mistake too is just trusting any old taxi. Look, the taxis here come in two forms. They're both yellow, but one you will see will have a black top that says taxi on the top of it, and on the side it says freelancer. The other ones will have a taxi company's name on the side, like on the door, and on the thing on top of the taxi. You want to do the ones that have the taxi company name on them. Those are the ones that are going to give you a better, you have a better chance of not getting ripped off, a better chance of not having problems. So I do recommend using those. Now you don't always have a choice because sometimes you come into a train station. Look, I only can take the taxi that's there. You have those issues, but just know that don't just trust taxis. Make sure you ask like how much is it going to be? Make sure they're using the meter. They have to give you a receipt and stuff like that. So do have a heads up. Okay. Because that's probably the biggest thing we hear tourists talk about with being ripped off here is by the taxi so don't get taken for a ride now the second mistake I see tourists make when they come here to Budapest is they don't learn how to use the public transportation also they forget to validate their ticket look the public transportation here in Budapest is actually really good you maybe you'll see some yellow trams going by back over there you see these old trams like oh my god I want to ride on one of those the metro here is one of the oldest metros in the world you can take that through it's really great and the city's kind of spread out for certain parts if you want to go to Hero Square it's way over there so use the metro go into the house of terror to see that museum there you know you're gonna use the public transport thing is though you need to know when you get your tickets just get a day ticket get that 24 hour ticket or the 72 hour ticket get that because there's so many different little versions of tickets you might get from single rides to only a few stops of the metro kind of stuff just save yourself the hassle and just get the 24 hour ticket it's not even that expensive so it's not like you're like well I'm wasting money if I don't use it look you'll be fine it saves a lot of headaches also, with the public transportation, another mistake I see people make is not validating their tickets. Look, if you take the metro, you buy your tickets, then you gotta go to the orange box and validate it, okay? So make sure you get that validating in. Because the metro, you'll see there's a lot of people that are checking and you'll get, boom, on the spot fines. So do have a heads up for that. Now, the third mistake I see tourists make is they think that Gellert is the only bathhouse in town. You know, the, the bathhouse you see in all the postcards. I'm sure I showed a postcard picture of it now. It's awesome. I've been there many times. I have many massages there in the spa and the water and the pools it's awesome but don't think it's the only one because I know some people get embarrassed like maybe I don't want to go where there's hundreds of other people there at the same time there's actually a lot of smaller bathhouses around Budapest that you can go to so if you don't want to go to the big one which I do recommend you go to because it is so cool with the architecture inside and just the whole atmosphere and oh my god I've had some of the best massages of my life there I know for some people though the smaller ones are better for them so do ask your hotel where some of the smaller ones are and that can help you out now the fourth mistake I see tourists make is they get up upset with service here look I'm gonna tell you don't get upset with service just realize it's slow now they're not mean they're actually very friendly and they're very helpful they'll tell you what to order what's a more traditional dish and things like that but what gets you is just how slow it takes like to get to your menu to take your order to get your drink to get your bill I mean I see tourists getting really frustrated like come on and the people are like hey man no problem here you go and they're very friendly about it but just don't get upset with the service it just takes time have patience when you're there and I kind of another restaurant thing is spending money and stuff another mistake I see tourists make is they think that they can use euros and credit card anywhere here in Budapest look in Hungary they use the forint okay they have their own currency not the euro yes they're in the European Union but they don't use the euro currency they have the forint and so you'll pay with that now some restaurants will actually take euros okay so that does happen so don't worry if you just have some euros but some places will only take forints or some places they won't take credit cards so you need to make sure you're asking if you're planning to pay with credit card hey do you take credit card no it's cash only do you take euros no we only take forints so yes we take euros so don't don't just assume that you can just pay with euros or you can pay with card make sure you're asking okay now another money mistake I see tourists make when they get here is they just go to the ATM and they don't pay attention look ATM scams in Central Europe and Eastern Europe are quite prevalent in terms of it's not someone trying to skim your card it's the actual ATM trying to get you so when you take out money here like especially if you there's certain brands they'll first when you put your card in they'll offer you like an insane like number okay like oh 400,000 forints like, uh, what's the current, what's the exchange rate? It's like 300 to one. Oh, 
wait a minute, I don't need $1,000. What is this thing doing? Why is it giving these huge numbers? Make sure you push that other amount and get a smaller amount. When you're taking out something, maybe just 50,000 or 30,000 or something like that to have 100, $200 euros, stuff like that to make your life a little bit easier so you have some Florence when you walk around. But the thing is that they just give you these crazy numbers. But also what really gets you, or really the mistake you make is they'll give you an offer. Hey, we can convert this to your dollars or euros now so you know how much it is. Never take that conversion. I say this on every video about mistakes. Never take that conversion because they totally rip you off. We're talking, you can lose 20 or 30% of your money. I mean, it's not even close. Okay, so always take the money out in that local currency, in the foreign, okay? If you go to a restaurant or a store and they offer to put it into dollars or euros, just say, no, thank you. I trust my bank back home. And most of the times your bank back home will rip you off the least. So go with that one, okay? So that's a mistake I saw people making. Now, another mistake with the money thing is a lot of people just see these exchange houses in town and they all say like zero percent commission don't make the mistake of thinking zero percent commission gives you the best deal because they have zero percent commission how are they going to be making money oh by giving you a bad exchange rate so make sure you're checking the exchange rates they're giving the official exchange rates commissions to make sure you get the best amount of money traded over and as i always do i always say use the atm in a bank and use your atm bank card from home and get cash out that way because usually it gives you the best rate and of course don't use the conversion Okay, don't let them do that. Make sure you decline that. Like I said before, that's gonna be your best way to get money. Now, the eighth mistake I see tourists make when they come here is they don't accept paprika and sour cream into their lives. Look, paprika and sour cream are in a ton of Hungarian dishes. And when you're here, you need to eat, yes, the goulash and the chicken paprika and, and, and like all these things, there's peppers and your paprika and sour cream and all mixed together and kind of stuff, the soups and all these things. It's very heavy food. And so a lot of people go, I don't know if I wanna have that. And you'll see tons of Italian places here. Look, you're in Hungary. I know there's a lot of Italian tourists here, but you should eat the Hungarian food when you're here. Don't make the mistake of eating the Italian and the other stuff, because I mean, don't get me wrong, those restaurants are fine. I mean, I've seen some good Greek places here too, but you wanna have the food here. You wanna have the goulash, the paprika and sour cream need to be part of your stay here, okay? And speak of having some local cuisine and local fun, my next mistake I see people make is they maybe have a little bit too much palinka and maybe a little too much partying. Look, palinka is the local schnapps here. It's really good, made from fruit. I like the, the pear one, there's plum, there's cherry, there's all kinds of them. But the thing is, I've seen a lot of tourists over enjoying themselves here. I mean, Budapest is probably one of the best nightlife cities in Europe. Whether you're an old guy like me or you're a young clubber, this place is fantastic. I've been coming here for 20 years and I've had a great time at every single interval of my life when I've been here because there's so much to do. But the thing is, a lot of people have too much fun and they kind of get them themselves in trouble. So do be careful with that because not every friendly local is looking out for your best interest, okay? You might have people like, hey, can you help me out? Oh, let's go to his bar and so I can tell you thanks. Have a heads up for those. And we've got a video on the scams of Budapest to help you out, to help you out with those things, but do have a heads up, okay? And then my 10th thing I would say is, 10th mistake I see people make when they're here is most of the time, you're up here at the castle, you're gonna take 4,000 pictures of the apartment over there, you go to St. Stephen's Cathedral to see this hand, and maybe the, the hero square, you see like the city. The mistake I see some tourists make, if you're gonna be here for three or four or five days, get out of the city. You know they have Roman ruins here? Yes, you can go see Roman ruins. You wanna go in some caves and go like underground caving and stuff like that and swimming in the underground lake stuff? You can do that right outside of Budapest. I mean, the reason why those spas are here is because of all the water that's here, okay? So definitely check that out. So get out of the city if you got some more time and enjoy, all right? So I hope these mistakes that we've seen tourists make and we've probably made ourselves can help you not make them so you can have a better time here in Budapest. If you wanna learn more, we've got more on like the don'ts of visiting Budapest, so some more like technical stuff there. We've got what you should know before you come here, what to eat in Hungary, all on our website at waltersworld.com. If you like honest travel videos like this, why don't you hit that subscribe button? We put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you want to make sure they're in your feed, also hit that bell as well to help us out. And a big like is always appreciated. And when you say thank you to everybody that's watched, and a special thank you to all our patrons on Patreon who help us make honest travel videos like this so we can help other travelers just like you. If you want to find out how you can help, go to patreon.com com slash Walters World to find out more and buy from Budapest.